and welcome back to another video here on Glitch Chunk. And in today's video, we're going to be going over how everything that Mojang has ruined in the Minecraft 1.19 update. It's very sad, but we will be talking about the bad changes. So we hope you guys are excited for this video, and if you guys are, make sure to slap that like button. And if you guys are new here, make sure to click that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on post notifications. Because we post content just like this very video, and it would be a shame if you missed out on any of it. Anyways, with all that being said, let's jump right into today's video. Now, Minecraft can be highly addictive. You may have already noticed that children can get very caught up in playing Minecraft. It can be very difficult getting kids to stop playing at the end of their allotted time. In more extreme cases, children will push to play Minecraft to the exclusion of doing other activities and leading to big battles with their parents. Some children will secretly stay up late in the night playing the game. Minecraft can expose kids to bullying and exploitation. Minecraft can be played online on multiplayer servers, some of which can be quite violent. Players attack and kill other players and steal their hard-earned or bought virtual items. Or possessions. And they'll destroy buildings they've worked very hard to build. The practice of stealing other players or wrecking their creations is referred to as griefing. In the Minecraft community, that is. These types of attacks can often be stressful for kids to handle than the more realistic violence of Call of Duty or other war games. Minecraft server owners can tempt kids into spending large sums of money that they often steal from their parents. Server owners can sell special packages of tools, weapons, armor, and other accessories to players in their servers. These special packages give players such as huge advantages in the game that are a serious temptation to buy them. I've known kids to spend many hundreds or even thousands of dollars this way, often stealing their parents' credit card numbers to pay their Minecraft purchases. It's possible, so if you read this, that you feel the advantage don't outweigh the dangers though. You may even consider preventing your kids from playing Minecraft. However, doing so runs the risk of creating other problems. When players ban kids from playing Minecraft, children often just sneak around to play the game anyway. If your child plays in a hidden away area, you won't be able to supervise his play and you won't be able to know about the problematic situations he might be exposed to. But how do you ensure that your children's play in Minecraft is safe? I've written this brief guide for you guys to better understand the Minecraft and supervise it so that your children can be engaged in a safe and healthy way. There are many different ways to play Minecraft. What informant of Minecraft your child plays determines of any risks playing the game to expose him to. Online forums of Minecraft include opportunities to play on unregulated public servers run by individuals who are unaffiliated with Mojang and Microsoft owners of Minecraft. Servers typically feature incredible sites, buildings, and games, with games popular games include Prison and Hunger Games for many kids playing Minecraft on servers is the most entertaining form of Minecraft. What format your child plays Minecraft on? Single player versus multiplayer, online versus offline determines what risks he or she is exposed to. While many Minecraft servers are safe, servers are where the greatest dangers are found. Many servers are lord of the files, like environments where kids can get exposed to bullying. Server owners also profit from selling the astonishingly high prices of social weapons, armors, and materials or ranks and such, and even more, that players pay with either PayPal or credit cards. Unscrumptious server owners can even extort payments from players by threatening them with being expelled from the server, which would mean losing days or weeks of accumulated possessions and work if players don't pay the fee. This can lead to huge financial outlays and the temptation to steal from parents. And Minecraft, like other online multiplayer games, also creates a situation where kids can meet with strangers. But playing Minecraft single player offline is the safest form of Minecraft. Also, safe playing a multiplayer Minecraft with friends who are also present on your home Wi-Fi or network 
is also pretty damn safe. These forms of Minecraft, furthermore, do not provide kids with opportunities to spend large times of money or anything like that. Minecraft is constantly changing. The programmers are continuously adding new features to the game and so much more. There are thousands of Minecraft servers with dozens more being added every day. You have to put effort into staying up to date. But what did you guys think of today's video? Let us know in the comment section down below. Anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching Hail Guys Tunk. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like if you did and don't forget to subscribe. Also watch the two videos on screen because I'm sure you'll love at least one of them. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next Minecraft video. Bye bye!